What is good guys? Today's gonna be a short video and it's actually gonna be a video I really never thought I would do if my camera quit suggesting. Um, we're kinda gonna be bashing on somebody and I want to bring to your attention somebody that I highly recommend, rec recommend against buying from. And so I'm Sean, this is Legacy Retix. Let's get into it. guys so I wanted to make this video a few months ago but I kind of felt like it wasn't needed um, I felt like you know maybe I would just be dragging out something that didn't need drug out um, I had kind of gotten into it with this individual person because of how they were treating others you know I don't I don't put up with bullies and if you think you're you're bigger and badder than somebody else, there's always somebody bigger and badder ready to knock you down. So, uh, you know, I was standing up for people that I felt needed to be stood up for. Um, I felt like this guy was just kind of throwing his weight around, and I'm not cool with that. I don't I don't do bullies. I don't put up with arrogant assholes. I mean, I don't know how else to word it. I'm sorry if there's children watching this. I try to keep my videos clean. Um, but, but I, I don't know how else to describe this guy other than he's just an asshole, he's a douchebag, um, and he's honestly the scum of this earth, the scum of this community that we don't need, and that guy's Brian Watkins of Hell Creek Reptiles, Shits Creek Reptiles, if you ask me. Um, I'm not sure if this dude's a doctor or what. He, he acts like a doctor. I'm pretty sure he's just a scrub tech, which is the guy that like puts the gloves on the doctor and cleans up after a surgery. I don't know. I don't really care. He brags about how he makes 150000 in California, which is like 50000 for the rest of the country, if you didn't know. California is really expensive. Um, overall, I'm, I'm just disappointed in this man, and, and I really want to bring it to light that we shouldn't be doing business with him, that we, we really shouldn't give this guy the time of day um, because of the way he treats people. And so recently he has called out Aubrey Pruitt um, and has basically put it on blast that, you know, he has a felony for growing ganja. And regardless of, of how you feel about that, um, the, the facts of reality are it's like 36 states are legalized at this point and it's just weed, okay? And to bring up somebody's past and say, hey, don't deal with this person because he has a felony is is pretty low. So I'm gonna call Brian out and say, don't deal with him because he's got little dick syndrome and he's an arrogant asshole who wanted to call the cops on me, which I'll throw in, um, I'll throw in the screenshots. Hopefully you guys can read them. I might have to pause and read them. Um, he wanted to call the cops on me when I live in Indiana, 2,000 miles away from him over a Facebook comment. That's what type of guy this guy is. He's gonna call the cops on you because he's intimidated by a Facebook comment. But he's okay with um, body shaming people. He's okay with saying you can't afford something based on your looks. And he's just, he's just an arrogant prick. And it needs to be brought to light. We need to just get this guy out of our industry. We don't need him. I mean, he's, he's a leech. He's a parasite to this industry. So if you know Brian Watkins, or you're thinking about getting one of his animals, I'm telling you, you're overpaying for one, and there are better bloodlines out there and better, more reputable breeders out there that would love to have your business and would treat you as a friend, unlike Brian, who's gonna treat you as an enemy the moment you ask a question that he doesn't like or disagree with him, okay? so. Stay away from Brian Watkins, Hell's Creek Reptiles. I really hope we see him go here in the near future. I, we don't want him in this community anymore. He has 
done nothing but bash on the best breeders in this game. He has done nothing but belittle the new people coming into this game. And, um, you know, there's no time for that. There's, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to be that type of person. So, figured I'd just drop this video. Don't do business with him. If you don't know who to do business with, feel free to ask me. I'm not even going to recommend myself unless it's something that I have. Um, but I'm going to recommend some of the best people I know as a person and as a breeder. Um, the people that I hang out with and co-mingle with are seriously some of the kindest, most genuine people you will ever meet. Not just in this rep, not in just in this industry, but in general, they are the kindest, most caring people you will ever meet. So if you want to know who those breeders are, feel free to reach out to me. I am more than happy to help you find the right person to buy a snake from. And I hope you guys have had an awesome week. Enjoy your weekend and stay away from Brian Watkins at Shit's Creek Reptile. I mean, Hell's Creek Reptiles. Oops. All right, guys. So here's the t-shirt I made. I'm sure you saw it in my other video and in the uh, thumbnail on this. And the whole reason that I made this is in the following um, screenshots here. So <clears throat> Garrett here, I believe, asked about a <coughs> price of a Kalatoa. Lucas came in and, and you know, said about 3K, and I, I agree with that. And then the Dino Hunter is Brian Watkins. He's always changed his name on Facebook because he's always bashing people, and I'm sure his profiles are always getting put into Facebook jail. So apparently, Lucas is smoking crack. Um, whatever. Okay. You know, Lucas defends himself. You know, Brian says he's high as a kite. Sean McMillan says you get what you pay for. Agreed. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> this is great. Okay, so I come in and, um, you know, sounds like someone's mad. They aren't asking enough. And then he takes a bash at, like, literally some of the best people in this industry with this meme. Here you go. If you need to pause and read this stuff, go for it. I will try to go kind of slow so you can get to a good pause point. Um, really, I wasn't mad. Um until we'll get down there um he started bashing on people for their looks he started bashing on ethan brown here and you know i i kind of got a little upset over that uh, basically because he was talking about you know ethan's looks you know funny how you don't look like someone who can afford a 2k snake and that's that's kind of when you know the straw broke with me uh, i i didn't like that comment this lady comes in here, he talks shit to her as well. Um, you know, here he is thinking that being an asshole is gonna get him some buys, so he shamelessly drops the plug. Hilarious. You know? Whatever. Okay. Again, you know, yes, with his fake names, exactly. We all know who you are with your fake names, Brian. Piece of shit. Nuance says I'm hiding my identity. Um, you know, I've never tried to buy anything. And I believe up above he said that I've tried to buy something off of him. Never, ever have I messaged him. Oh, you know, he does have little man syndrome. There we go. Mm, what do we got? Hang on one second, guys. Ah, oh, sorry about that, guys. I have to go to a morgue after this. Um, had a little downtime, so I wanted to do this. Anyways, get back into it here. Um, you know, he's he's mad. You know, usually it's the little man who insults with lame comments like yourself, grow a pair. Yeah, okay, coming from the guy who wants to call the po-po on me for, you know, these comments, basically. So, you know, since he said I'm a billy goat, you know, I'm the goat... <laughs> You're the cat, you know, the putty cat. You see the difference? It, is this a threat? What do you mean? Bro, bro, do you want to go to jail? I can arrange that. I would love to see that you have no clue who I am. <laughs> the local police are not going to take me to jail, you dumbass. Um, promise that I'm going to come to your booth and kick your ass? Uh, honestly, at this point, probably. 
But I, I do want to shake your hand, Brian. I, I want to shake your hand. I'm going to shake your hand one of these days. Next level stupid, not really. You know, I didn't put anything in black and white here um, that I'm going to do something to him. But, uh, you know, he, he took it. He took it how he wanted to take it, and good for him. Obviously, isn't your first rodeo. No, it's not my first rodeo with, with an asshole like you. I don't, I don't put up with it, boys. Um, yeah, you know, and police response time is horrible in California, so, yeah, he's got proof of me making threats, haha. -ha. Absolutely hilarious. You know, but I, I don't put up with bullies, and if you're going to bully, I am going to snap back at you. I don't care. Not intimidated, and, and sitting in a jail cell to jack somebody's jaw like this would be very well worth it to me. I'm just going to throw that out there. Not saying I'm going to, Brian. You don't need to try to sue me over this. I'm just saying it would be worth sitting in a jail cell to see you get your jaw jacked. But, uh, you know, there you are. This is why I hate Brian Watkins. And if you have ever had any encounters with Brian Watkins, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. We will see you guys on the next video.